again, never expected this. My life is pretty crazy out here. Breeze like this, falling, could have been really deadly. I mean, woods everywhere. You could easily get lost. So I got the dogs out here tracking them. All right, so I'm driving and uh, this truck in front of me drives over this bird. And as I'm looking, it's a cardinal just sitting here in the road. This is crazy, look at that. It's a live bird, I don't know if it got hit, so I'm gonna try to uh, help it. I don't know what's wrong with it, so I'm gonna take it with me and kind of uh, make sure it's okay. Didn't expect that to happen. So I just got back to the house and pretty much stayed in my uh, hand like this the entire time. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it, but it's kind of stand up on its own, but I kind of have to hold its side. And it was chirping here a minute ago, so I'm probably gonna um, set it up in the back of my truck, put some sticks and whatnot back there, because I don't know what else to put it in, but kind of keep an eye on this little dude and uh, see how it goes. But again, never expected this. My life is pretty crazy out here. Crapped on my hand. That's okay. Wasn't that a cool moment? It pooed on my hand, but to be able to have the bird like that for a while, and uh, I had it in my truck on the way here, and I had it in my hand, I think I got hit by a truck, um, the truck in front of me maybe, I don't know, they kind of drove over it, maybe it got hit before, um, it just seemed a little off, but um, I just held it up next to me for a while, I had it for about 20 minutes or so, and uh, just, I guess just let it get a breather without getting run over on the road, and so just to have that cool moment, oh man, that just brought a bunch of life into me, I mean that's exactly what I needed pretty much right now. Um, I've been in these weird slumps lately and with the weather the way it is supposed to rain all week I was kind of bummed and so I went into town I bought some more um, stuff so I could start working on the deck but to have that opportunity to help that bird even in the just the smallest way just giving it you know time to rest was awesome I mean that will probably never happen again a cardinal in my hand being able to hold it that close talk about awesome
All right guys, that's how you get a post in here. And as you can tell, I notched it out. So now the post sits on top of here, all the weight is on there, and then you can still screw in. And so um, basically what I did, I dropped it six inches right here from the uh, eight foot mark, which that's eight foot. This is seven foot, six inches. So, so it's got a six inch drop over an eight foot span, technically a little bit shorter six foot span and then the two feet out will be just a little bit more. So plenty for uh, snow and rain to come off. So I need to go ahead and do this uh, three more times going down, and then I'm gonna start attaching the boards going across this way. Or actually first I gotta put the uh, uh, beam going all the way down the middle. And unfortunately, I need to uh, build that deck down there, so I'm gonna have to do that too. And uh, just so you know, these are only temporary uh, beams right now or a uh, post I'm gonna end up doing cedar but I don't have the cedar yet so I'm gonna go ahead and do this it's worth uh, go ahead and, and using them right now because I could reuse those posts later but I need to go ahead and get this up so I can get the roof on then I'll just replace the uh, the post once I get them but as you can tell this is where the uh, roof of the patio is going to stick out four feet from the house and then the roof will extend back out four feet but be open underneath so it's getting there. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, since I have it across, I'm gonna take these two screws out. It's holding on right here, so I can go anywhere. And then I'm gonna take this board and I'm gonna overlap it and then screw it in and then screw it in. So whenever I take this post out, I can just back the screws out out of this and it'll hold it.
All right, guys, so I'm building this, and guess what I just saw? I don't know if you can see. It's my little cardinal friend flying up here. How awesome is that? You see it? I'm going to zoom in so you can see the cardinal. It came back. Look at it. Right there. That's little, my, my little cardinal friend came back. That's pretty awesome. I don't think it's going to come down here to uh, me, but it's coming down a little further. How amazing would that be if it came? I would just poop myself if it came down all the way. Let's see. There it is. Right there. Hey, birdie. What are the odds of that? Look at it, it's just coming down a little further and further. Oh man, that's crazy. Like that never happens ever. And it came back. I don't even know if you can see it from there, but it's right there. It just flew down, I wanna see if I'm gonna get it. See that? What are the odds? It's gonna fly off. There it goes. It flew off. I ain't gonna mess with it. But what are the odds of that? I don't know. For it to for to get that bird in my hands earlier and then for it to come back. That's wild to me. That's a, it's a sign that I'm gonna have a good day. They say when you see a cardinal, it's good luck. They say when you get pooped on by a bird, it's good luck. So, guys, I'm just gonna roll with it and maybe, just maybe, I'm probably gonna jinx myself. Maybe this good luck's coming and I'm gonna get this uh, porch put on, put the roof put on. It won't rain that much this week and this could just be an awesome turning point in my life. I don't know. Uh, I'm all about everything happens for a reason. And uh, I posted a picture on Instagram of that bird, and people were like, that's such a good luck sign and, you know, such a awesome thing. I'm going to take it. I don't care if it is true or not. I'm going to take it because uh, any positive vibes or anything like that that I can get in my life right now, I'm going to take. So, oh, man, that was just super cool. All right, so as you could tell, there's a gap up there at the top. And no, I don't have it screwed in all the way. I want to make sure that that's where I was going. But, uh... I'm gonna measure the top gap, and then what I'm gonna do is measure down the bottom and then cut the slant the other way, and that's how I'll get the right measurement to fit flush against that board. So it's half an inch off, so I measured, since it was half inch on top, I measured half inch on bottom, and now I'm gonna cut that line. Now you can see it's flush against the back. Well, you can see from the top. Yes, it sticks over a little bit on top. It don't matter. It's just gonna be underneath this lip anyways, under here. So this will be the, where the uh, metal goes in over the top, but that uh, fits way better now.
Well, I am now in the search down here in the bottom with the dogs looking for Sawyer. I let Rufio and Sawyer kind of explore a little bit and apparently that was not a good decision. So I'm at the bottom of this stream that I had that you guys know and I'm having to uh, go over all this stuff. I'm having to uh, go through all these different little trails and stuff with the dogs trying to find Sawyer so I've already been looking for about 30 minutes and I drove around didn't find him so I came down here I didn't find him hopefully he will uh, be back up at the uh, area up there the house or down here getting water hopefully I can find him got the dogs searching hopefully get some of his scent but I mean, this just goes all out here. There's just, I mean, woods everywhere. You could easily get lost. So, I got the dogs out here tracking them, hopefully. But, still no sign. Alright, so after about 45 minutes of searching, I think I found him. I think I hear him. Sawyer! There he is. Oh my gosh. Right there. Sawyer! Buddy! Oh, come get some water. I know you're tired. Come over here, buddy. All right, well, at least I found him. I feel better about it, so now I get to try to get him back up there. Sawyer, you tired, buddy? I bet you are. You want to go back? Let's go. Come on. Sawyer, this way, buddy. Oh, you're tired, I know. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. I knew he'd be too tired. So, we're going to kind of give him a little break. And uh, let him rest. I think it's kind of an easy way up here. Uh, this isn't my property anymore. But no one's over here, so I'm going to give him a break. And then we're going to head back up. Alright, so I made it to the top. And there's Sawyer down there. He made it. So, he is worn out. Come on, Sawyer. He's probably going to lay down. He's tired. Come on, buddy. I don't think he's going to be taking off anymore for a while. But, uh, the neighbor kids up the way helped me look for him for a little bit. So, I'm very thankful for that. And maybe that luck charm I got from, uh, the uh, Cardinal was just to find my dog. So, he went to sleep in the cold and rain tonight. And I don't have to worry about him, so if that's all the luck I got, I'll definitely take it. Guys, these trees like this, falling, could have been really deadly. It's pretty wild uh, standing up on these trees. These are, you know, 50, 60 foot trees. Uh, I talked about it at the Coffee Crockers, I thought maybe 30, 40 foot. Uh, or maybe 40 50 foot, but man, these are huge. You could just tell how big they are I mean the root system on them and how thick the uh, Trees are are huge. So the fact that these things fell With these storms coming through and stuff really could have been deadly because as you guys know right down There is the creek where I hang out and uh, I've been wanting to build like a little shelter down there And this easily could have took it out. I mean just annihilated whatever was in its way it pretty much this big tree fell uh, these two trees fell which ended up knocking these trees down so it's just like dominoes and it's pretty wild but as you could tell I'm standing up on top of them right now and the dogs are down there I don't think bandit she's gonna try to come up here but I don't think she can um, but I mean I'm pretty pretty high up here on these roots of uh, these two trees that fell right here. So, I mean, I'm up here. I'll, I'll get down and kind of show you um, another view if I can, but I mean, this is pretty wild. I'm very, very uh, shocked that these trees fell, and I'm very fortunate that they fell this way down the hill, which makes sense. But the tiny house is way up there, 
and this is just crazy i mean it just opened up this huge section here and uh like i said this could have been deadly if we were uh walking through here or had a little shelter a tent or whatever if these trees fall on you you're done pretty big trees to be uh falling down and uh i'm probably 10 feet up in the air right now so pretty wild that big trees like this could easily fall down and get you bandit what are you doing bandit it's pretty crazy this tree right here i mean it literally just bent it over it's just completely bent underneath there and it snapped this one snapped this tree in half and it rubbed up against this huge tree i mean i am just blown away at the uh destruction of a couple of trees falling these are some pretty big trees as you can tell i can try to hug around it i can't even reach all the way around so i mean i don't even know this thing probably weighs thousands of pounds Again, I'm just floored with uh, how big these trees are and how they came down. We had some strong winds, but I didn't think it was this crazy. All right, so I guess there's not a whole lot to do over here other than just see how crazy this is like as you guys can tell this tree right here is literally holding this tree up for a good amount of time and so is this tree right here and then of course it goes down there and the kind of the bigger branches are holding it but I mean I don't know I'm looking at this and, and I'm like how do you utilize this where it's not just a wreck there's no way it'd be amazing but I can't there's no way that I can cut these logs and then mill them up because getting this a hundred feet up an incline is not going to happen this just like this is literally thousands of pounds just this one tree there's no way i could uh lift it so how do you utilize this what do you do to um not just make this a nasty pile of trees that fell over i don't know look at the uh the root system here the hole where the uh roots were as you could tell this trunk of the tree is pretty big and the hole's really big the roots are taller than i am um, still in the ground but i mean you just talk about a pretty big hole that it had to make i'm about to fall in but a uh, pretty big root system there so it's pretty wild and then of course the my camera's going crazy and then of course that one up there is pretty big as well but just a big mess and hopefully I could do something with all this so it doesn't stay a big mess all right guys so today was a wild day I didn't expect everything like that to happen but I didn't get as much done as I wanted as always but I got a lot done and as you could tell the posts stick up over the top and uh, I didn't the reason I left them that long is because I didn't know if I was gonna want to move the uh, beam up higher or lower and so I left room to go up if I needed to but I like it where it's at and so I'll just go back and uh, cut them with a chainsaw because that uh, I don't even know what you call them because that board right there needs to be right on top in the middle where that post is and then this one right here needs to be on the edge so unfortunately um, I'm not gonna be able to finish this today I still needed to um, build the back of the deck anyways and keep it going but guys what do you think I think that uh, 
course, and of course, I still got to put the board on the front here. But I think the uh, the pitch on it is really, really well, and I think it'll be really good for snow and rain. And if do, if snow does get on there, I don't think we're gonna get that much snow. But if it does, I can always get on there and pull it off if uh, if it ever gets that bad. But I'm gonna try to zoom in uh, from further back and show you guys the angle that I'm using. So hopefully you could see the angle of the uh, porch and kind of see that it's got enough slope but it's not too steep at the same time and the reason i like that is because if i'm up here i mean i'm not that tall so if jacob and Alex come over jacob's gonna hit his head coming up but it's not my problem that's his problem but for me this is high enough up that it's not really gonna be an issue and then you know it's enough it's steep enough that rain will easily come off and then it gives enough room up under there that I could put the uh, fern strips all the way across and then the metal and it'll go underneath that lip so I think it's coming out pretty well of course it doesn't look as good as it's gonna be because I still got this on there and these are just temporary posts but these are gonna be cedar and I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna do for the top of this I might have a different idea than what I was normally gonna go with so I might do it I might not it depends if I could really find what I'm looking for. But guys, what did you think of the Cardinal? That was insane, that was awesome. I mean, that bird would have been dead. It was in the road. A truck right in front of me ran right over it with the wheels, you know, right in the, you know, the bird was right in the middle of the wheels. And it's just, I guarantee you it probably would have got hit if I didn't pick it up. And I'm glad I saw it, I'm glad I stopped, and I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I had the camera to show you guys that you just never know what's going to come across. And then for it to come back was awesome. And then the tree down there, all the trees that fallen was pretty crazy. And then Sawyer running off and being lost, that was crazy. So it was an eventful day. And then I even had the neighbor kids kind of help, like I said earlier. And then I let them borrow an air compressor so they can get their go-karts going. Uh, they've been seeing me drive around a little uh, uh, bike and they want to get their go-karts going. So it's just a very, very eventful day. Not so much a building, but I'm cool with that. It doesn't bother me. It was supposed to be raining all day anyways, so I take that as a win. And hopefully it won't rain that much this week. But the good thing is I am working outside uh, with tree of wood, so I can work in the rain as long as it's not lightning uh, too close. So I'll try to do what I can this week. But guys, I'm going to just call today an awesome, awesome day didn't expect any of it to happen the way it did i'm glad it did it was very eventful kind of took me away from my normal everyday you know life out here doing what i do so guys if you liked the video please feel free to hit the subscribe button the notification bell all that stuff as always i got links down in the description if you want to check out the rest of my family and uh i just appreciate you guys watching i truly mean it i appreciate all the support you guys give me all the good comments and feedback and all that stuff so i appreciate you guys I love you guys, and I'll see y'all tomorrow morning on Coffee with the Crockers.